It's Thursday morning here at Zest Breakfast with me, Jeff, joined by James Bay, who is on the show to promote his brand new album, Leap, which we're going to get onto in a few moments' time. And I, I think I, I've built this up quite big because I was talking to you before we went on air about how I've got all these interpretations sure. of, of the album, um, which you'll probably quash. But we'll, I'm ready. We'll, we'll, no, I love it. We'll get, we'll get to that in a few moments' time. So, you know, it, it's great the, the run of shows you're on at the moment, doing some, some internet, intimate shows. I, I'm just curious... Uh, See, do, have you got a newfound appreciation now for performing live again after what we've gone through after over those the past yeah, few years? After those couple, I mean, I, I do. I think I felt. I think all musicians felt in the first days and weeks of the pandemic. Everybody felt this sort of frightening reality land. Yeah. That, okay, maybe we won't get to do the thing that we love for a while. And even in those early days, the appreciation, the early days of pandemic, the appreciation was ima- was massive. It was yeah. enormous. The way it came on. Oh. That's the thing I absolutely live to do, yeah. and I'm not. I might not be able to do it for a minute now. So only you know now after two years of not being able to do it, yes, the appreciation is only greater. How how was it for you though? Because as a, a performer, because I, I think it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Sometimes it's obviously you can't do the thing that you love, which is mm. going out there and performing. Mm. But probably for the first time since you became as, as big as you are now, you had this free time and time to create, a lot more time to think. And there was a lot of artists who, some just stayed at home, drank beer and got fat, but you've got other people like Paul McCartney, yeah. who was you know, one name we talked about earlier on. Paul Weller was prolific during yeah. the pandemic, would just churn out album after album. Yeah. And did, did you find, in a way, it was beneficial creatively for you to have all this time? It ended up being so. I will say for the first nearly six months, I think, of the pandemic, because it's all kicked off in March, so by sort of October time, 2020, I think only then I really started to find a way to write and feel f- feel it as the, the natural thing that it's always been for me for the first time since the pandemic kicked off. Initially, everything was just a bit overwhelming. Yeah. You know, this feeling, and lots of people would ask me, because the ability to do interviews over the phone, on, online, stayed the same, and obviously, you know, Zoom and all that exploded. Yeah. Um, and for people say, weeks into the pandemic, how are you? Are you writing about yeah, it? Yeah. Are you writing about these times? And it was a lot that because we were all going through something that we never saw coming and that we never imagined would would happen in any of our lives. These pandemics, they're pretty rare. Yeah. But um, I uh, so it took me a while. But then by the end of 2020, and actually at the time at, at the time I was accepting that the album I had initially finished in Nashville that year in in, in March wasn't going to come out. Yeah. So okay, I'm going to I I found some inspiration to sort of start writing again and I wrote through the end of that year and, and into 2021. I actually uh, yeah, I got quite a lot of stuff. Did you did you find then the course of the album was it because it was 3 years in the making, wasn't it? The, the album yeah. w- w- was it quite a big adjustment when the pandemic kicked in? Definitely. W- direction um, change. Yeah, it, it did. I I didn't um I just about finally sort of felt started to feel satisfied with what i created when i got home from nashville and um and the pandemic literally the next day the lockdown the first lockdown started sort of nationally and globally yeah um and in nashville i sort of found this direction and it 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 got a little bit sort of thrown out the window as the first months of the pandemic passed and when i came to writing i couldn't go back to nashville yeah I, i wrote lots of songs and a handful of them i thought i want to put these on the album i'm going to shake this all up i'm going to create this super hybrid, I'm going to rebuild it. And, and I just embraced, given the times were so upside down, yeah. you know, the world, life was so on its head, I embraced all of it and just said, you know, whatever will be, will be. Um, I'm just going to make a record in these trying times. And so um, without being able to fly back to Nashville to keep recording, I just got online with various producers around the world yeah you know we did it sort of over zoom it wasn't i'd never i never want to make an album in a pandemic again if i can help it <laughs> but i'm really proud of what i ended up making and how i just had to sort of follow my gut and create within the confines of what the times were presenting 